Hey guys, Veda Day 31, which you know what? I think this one needs props. If anybody wants one of these, I had to buy a pack of eight. They are Hello Kitty because Hello Kitty is the only stuff in the world with my name on it. Veda, day 31, final thoughts, toast, all that kind of fun stuff. I watched a bunch of these videos earlier today and people seem kind of sad that it's over. And yes, I'm sad that it's over, but by the same token, we did something pretty freaking amazing here. And for that, I think we should celebrate a little. Doing something every day for 31 days takes commitment. And we did it, guys, and that's kind of awesome. I made it 31 days without joining Twitter. I made it 31 days making a video every single day and editing it and posting it every single day within the time frame whilst still going about my normal everyday life. And my reward for doing this, there should be a cookie. And the only way to beat it is to bat it down. And the only way to beat it is to bat it down. And the only way to beat it is to bat it down. And the only way to beat it is to bat it down. The days that I have run I sought to lose that cloud that's blacking out the sun My train will come We're 80 people from all over the world from all different kinds of backgrounds with all different kinds of beliefs and we all just came together for this month and said hey, I'm going to share a little piece of myself with you and everybody else said thank you for sharing a little piece of yourself with me I may or may not agree with what you have to say but I think that you're a wonderful, beautiful person and thank you for sharing that and I, I, I mean that very sincerely. There's people in VEDA who have beliefs very similar to mine, and there's people in VEDA who have beliefs that are diametrically opposed to mine. But I think that every single one of you, every single person whose videos I watched this month and who watched my videos this month, I think that every single one of you is a beautiful, beautiful person. And I'm so glad that I got to meet you. I used to read Moby's blog a lot and he said in one of his posts he went to a meeting of Marxists and he said that for the most part they were all really lovely people the only problem being that they'd only hung out with other Marxists for the last 50 years and his point sort of being if you only hang out with people who are exactly like you you're never gonna change you're never gonna have different ideas you're never gonna question your beliefs you're never gonna be exposed to anything new and I think that that was what was wonderful about Veda for me is that it was meeting a different circle of people. It was me taking a step outside of the theater world or a step outside of the swing world, stuff like that, and seeing that there, there's so many people out there. And if you just stay in your little comfort zone all the time, you may never meet some of the most wonderful people that you could imagine meeting. Um, you guys have been great. Thank you for sharing yourselves and your lives with me for the last month. I plan on continuing to vlog, probably not every day. I plan on doing Music Monday sort of thing just to get music up there and out there and I have my Doctor Who screen test stuff that I still need to do and it's still open to suggestion because I think those could be a lot of fun. This whole wine to reach thing, is, is Twitter required? I hope that I will see your faces more and if you're not completely turned off by my face, you're welcome to come back and see it again. There's a lovely Riesling in here because Riesling goes well with cookies. But cheers to all of you guys for your honesty and your bravery and your commitment to sharing part of yourself with a whole bunch of people that you've never met before. I'm so glad I met you. And this is not the end, this is the beginning. Or maybe a midpoint, something. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon, love your faces. Crap, now I have to clean all that up.